All right, my friends, this week we are talking about trying new things, doing new things, and meeting new people. And this is a really fun book that goes along with this, especially the trying new things and the meeting new people. So this book is called Let's Go Hugo, and it is by Angela Dominguez. And I want you to look for what happens in this book that has to do with meeting new people and trying new things, and what can we learn from it, okay? All right. Hugo was a little bit different. He preferred walking to flying. Instead of living on top of the trees, Hugo lived in a burrow down at the bottom. Instead of building nests, Hugo built works of art. Hugo was content living on the ground. One day, Hugo was finishing his latest masterpiece when he heard a voice. Hey, I know that building, said a little bird. Really? Hugo was overjoyed. Yup, she said. You can see it from up here. It's the Eiffel Tower. We can fly there. Oh, Hugo realized it was too far to walk. My name's Lulu, said the little bird. Come on, I'll take you. I'm Hugo, he said, and then fell silent. Lulu tilted her head and smiled. Well, let's go, Hugo. Um, I have to show you the park before we go, Hugo said. Lulu thought that was a splendid idea. Relieved, Hugo led the way. First, they ate popcorn. After they finished eating, Lulu said, Ready? Let's go! You can't fly on a full stomach, Hugo replied. We have to wait an hour. Lulu agreed, and they played in the fountain instead. After a little while, Lulu said again, Let's go, Hugo! But Hugo replied, We can't fly now. Our feathers have to dry first. Lulu agreed, and they watched a ballet instead. The show lasted into the evening. It's getting late, said Lulu. Are you ready to go, Hugo? Again, Hugo replied, We can't fly. It's dangerous for me to fly at night. Let's go in the morning. Lulu yawned. She looked at Hugo. At last, she said, Okay, well, I should go home then. See you later. Hugo's heart sank as his new friend flew away. He'd never see the Eiffel Tower now. What if he never saw Lulu again either? He tried to run after her, but she was already high in the sky. It was hopeless. What's the matter, little one? It was the old owl Bernard perched high up in the tree. It was late and the owl was the only one awake. Hugo was so tired that he blurted without thinking, I'm afraid to fly. Bernard paused and said, well, everyone is afraid of something. I was afraid of the dark. But then I realized all the wonderful things I was missing, like the moon and the stars. If you want, I'll help you practice. Hugo looked down at the ground. He looked up at the owl. It took all of his courage, but at last Hugo said, Yes, please. They practiced flying the rest of the night. There were many ups and many more downs. When Hugo finally flew to the top of the tree, the owl said, look at you go, Hugo. Good job. Tomorrow we'll practice some more, but now it's my bedtime. As the sun came up, Hugo was still high in the tree. 
Are you ready? asked Lulu, landing next to him. Hugo looked from Lulu to the ground, far, far below. Not really, he said. I'm a little scared. Lulu smiled. It'll be another adventure we can do together, she said. Except this time, instead of exploring the park, we'll explore the sky. Oh, Hugo hesitated. I never thought of it like that. Lulu stuck out her wing. Hugo took a tiny step away from the tree, and then another, and another, until... Let's go, Hugo! Lulu sang. Hugo took a deep breath and grabbed on. Off they flew! The Eiffel Tower was more beautiful than Hugo had ever imagined. So beautiful, he forgot to be afraid. When they got back to the park, Hugo asked Lulu, Where do you want to go next? Lulu tilted her head. The sky's the limit! Hugo smiled and stretched his wings out wide. And so, what did we learn about meeting new people and trying new things? We learned that meeting new people can, or new people can show us new things and teach us new things. And that new people aren't necessarily scary, right? Hugo met Lulu and they got to be fast friends. She liked doing the things that he liked doing and Turned out he liked doing the things she liked doing too. Hugo also learned that when he practiced and got better at the things that he was scared of or did, wasn't very good at, that he could do really cool, new, fun things. Look at all the things they're trying in these pictures. So, when you feel scared of trying something new, Try practicing ahead of time and then just take a leap. Do it and see what happens. It's okay if you fall down, literally, or just kind of the idea of falling down because it didn't work out, right? You can do new and great things. So go try something new. Have a great day.